to start with, I saw this particular video posted on Shatawale's Facebook page. And that was after a gentleman sent me um, a screenshot of Shatawale saying he's looking for that person, or he's, he was looking for the boy who was in the video. And I would want to share that with you as well. So, Shata saw the video and made what people call duet with it. And he says, I want to dash this boy 2K cities. Somebody look for him for me. And he also added, God will bless this boy. That was not all. He also shared it on his Facebook page, making people understand what a gentleman has done that he seems so satisfied with it, he seems so elated about it, and again, he seems so excited about it. And it comes back to what I started talking about, that when it comes to being able to impact people's life positively, you might not know how you do it, regardless of your character, your behavior, your attitude, or regardless of what you do. Some little, little things you do are impacting people positively. Therefore, at every point in time, watch how you are doing it. Watch what you are saying. And again, ask yourself, with all the lots I'm doing, what percentage of that is affecting the people positively? Now, I would want us to go watch this video. And this is a viral video shared on the TikTok app. And that's the stance now because of the person whose name was mentioned in there, Shatawali, the newsman, the man news people can't live without, the man whose name alone revives all dead blogs and media platforms, just the mention of the name Shatawali, all dead blogs, media platforms, people who are looking for instant fame, they get it. And I'm sure after this gentleman mentioned Shatawali in this video, video went viral. And that has been the story. You can watch it now. Okay. Me family in to me ma me me papa so. And I'm tell wale story so a wale ne papa ne ne ma me wo bi. Ba wa am fene ni anto am so. Okay. Or fight so be no no ane de. Okay. Because you see a wale ne wo me enye pe. Nti me no wale no. Me ti me me ti me street ni so na me wono me me ton tale street ni so na me wono. Me ti me hu ne o ma bi. Na me ti ensem bi na me de atoto wale advice or the ma street no. Na me de atu me hu fo. Say ah me a street boy, see na Shatawali, I can't for street boys in Tia was a means to me to two man I'm on sea. Hand me while in your number one hour that my comma so for music. Ninum to a moon and wing our foot to a flu. Ninum to um dear me near foot to a flu. Anna ne life no so Miss Hardy compare me some life na ten years now me menano and I ya a foot to a mamma. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> Mitimito, Bamitin, Yomanasapa, so Ningo Maya with the Aya Sanjum, Sanjuman, Nanka, more sell, and I'm swinging me out to Munti, or Kim Tano Sanjum. Okay, now, as it stands now, the gentleman talked about how Shatawale's words, how Shatawale's statements, how Shatawale has been talking to his fans, both online and on stage. He has been able to be motivated by just such words alone from afar. And on different occasions, if you have been listening to the Shatawali story, he keeps telling the world that he did not come from a poor background, and that is fact. He did not come from a poor home, and that is true, because his dad then was a big-time politician, 
rolling with some of the top NDC people, then JJ Rollins, Ajiman Kona do days. Not today's NDC though. Then times. Like he was a big time politician. Someone who has been fully and well educated. Of course, even today, anytime I speak with Shatakapo, I feel that in his delivery. You would realize that, yeah, the man has read. And therefore, he is very, he's a very good grammarian at every point in time. Therefore, truly and truly, he did not come from a poor background. At the age of about 12 and less, he was traveling in and out of abroad, going to London, where some of his family members lived. At some point, he lived there for a while, but he still decided to choose the hard knock. That is the school of hard knock. He decided to choose that, and today, he is where he is today. So in this video, the gentleman was asked, among many people in the world, among the many celebrities that he has been following or watching, who has an impact in his life? And his message has really sparked a whole lot of controversies as to who society likes and who is really doing what is right. He said that after listening to the Shatter story, knowing that Shatter's mom and dad at the time that he was growing up were okay, but decided to go the hard way because he wanted to live life on his own, that is how he is also living his life. He doesn't want to look at anybody. He doesn't want to compare his life with anybody. He doesn't want to rely on anybody. But at every point in time, when he's up and awake, when he's active, he's thinking about how to survive on his own. He's thinking about how to make it on his own. He's thinking about how to count dollars, CDs, pounds, euros on his own without looking back at anybody who can do this for him. Of course, this is one principle that if you are at his age, I'm sure this guy might be, if not his early 20s, maybe late teens. Yes, one of them. Early 20s or late teens, I'm sure he might be somewhere in between. And if at this stage, he gets up knowing he has nobody to rely on but to fight for his life, is the best of advice that anybody can get. Because I know some families, I know some people who in the name of relying on family members, hoping that family members would help them, today they are destroyed. During my school days, some of my friends who had their relatives abroad, because at the time, almost every two weeks, they were sending them some pounds and some dollars to convert and enjoy. They were not thinking about how to make it on their own. At every point in time, they know, oh, my mommy will send it. My daddy will send it. My brother will send it. My sister will send it. So when we were thinking about how to make it in life and how to also get something on our own, they were relaxed. Because they knew, latest two weeks, some pounds will drop. They will change it and buburuja. They eat and eat and eat and eat without thinking about where the next meal will come from because they know latest two weeks, another one will drop and it was constant. Today, you look around some of these guys, you meet them and you ask yourself, them, their lifestyle or their life today and you, which one is admirable? Which one is a comfortable way to live? Which one would you recommend to the next guy who is also watching to live a similar lifestyle? Obviously, you would enjoy being on your own. You would enjoy being able to afford for you, your family, your workers, and that everybody around you to at least feel comfortable to live and not to rely on anybody. But you see, just as society would always like, because that has not been said with hands at the back, because that has not been said with you lying down. Because that has not been said with, please, please, and I beg, I beg, I beg. I know some people will throw some of these advice away. I know some people will think that, oh, this is not what the youth needs. There are some people who have even said, oh, there are some people, because of their behavior, this, because of how they speak like this, because of how they do like this, they are even impacting negatively on some people. There are some people who say, oh, this guy, I wouldn't want to associate with him. I wouldn't want to do this with him because it's like that, it's like that, it's like that. But look at what the young man is saying. That to him, 
He's learned how to live independently, and that is the word. He's learned how to live without relying on anybody because he has nobody to rely on. And again, he has been fortified to even live that life thanks to Shatawale's constant advice that he's been preaching. And this particular advice, Shatta does not stop preaching it. He preaches it when he is having interviews on media platforms. He preaches it when he's doing live videos on his social media platforms. He preaches it when he's performing live on stage. At any given opportunity, he makes the world know that to him, he has gone through the hard way to be where he is today. And that you can also go through it and survive. You'll not die. Like a musician said, me, who met Nasi, I'll never die, I'll live. 